how to export animations and skeletons to Unreal. Here's the full process without any issues. Fix the model units in the scene properties. Set it to centimeters and scale it to 0.01. .01. Select both the armature and the mesh using control click. Click File, Export, FBX. Type the name you want to export. Only export the selected objects. Set smoothing to face to clear smoothing group warnings. Only export to forming bones, no IK bones. Do not add leaf bones to the bone tips. Export all actions. Make sure your settings match what's on my screen in case Blender changes the defaults. Export. Drag the .fpx you created into Unreal's content browser. Click the import to create a skeletal mesh, skeleton, and animations. Drag the example animation onto the scene. You should also be able to open up the skeletal mesh and see normal bone structure. Press play to preview the animation in the world. In a later video, I'll show you how to control and play the character. If you make a new animation after your first import, re-importing typically doesn't generate the new animation in Unreal. You can add new animations later by using the NLA editor. For this, I made a new tab by clicking the plus button and named it NLA. Bring up the nonlinear animation editor like this. Go back to the animation tab and choose your new animation action. Push it down into the NLA. Go to the NLA editor and make sure the animation appeared under the armature like this. This is the track we're going to export. Open the FPX export. Use the same settings and selection as before, but uncheck all actions. Make sure the NLA strips are checked. Give your animation a useful name. Drag the animation into Unreal. Uncheck Import Mesh. Import, and you now have your new animation. Don't forget to delete the track after you export. Epic is working on a tool to make this easier. I'll probably make a video showing that when they release the add-on. Here's some things that can go wrong and how to fix them. If your animations import tiny, you probably forgot to set the scale. Make sure it's centimeters, and make sure it's set to 0.01. If you need to rescale your character, you should probably do it in edit mode. That way the object mode transformer will not have changed. If you don't see bones in Unreal, click Character, Bones, All Hierarchy. If Unreal cannot detect import type, you may have selected the wrong things in Blender. Be sure you only check the armature and the mesh. If you get a multiple root bones are found in the bone hierarchy error, this means you probably exported IK bones or you have some disconnected bones. You need a single root bone. Parenting your IK bones will not fix this as it will mess with the look of your animations. Typical IK bones won't deform the mesh. Check Only Deform Bones. This won't export IK bones. If your import button is grayed out and unclickable, you probably didn't select the correct things in the outliner. Make sure you've selected the mesh and the armature. If you get a warning about bones missing from the bind pose, Blender is probably adding extra leaf bones to your armature. These leaf bones look like claws when viewing the skeletal mesh. To fix this, make sure add leaf bones is unchecked. Note, the tip bone still controls the fingers even though you cannot see it span to the end of the fingers. If you get a warning about smoothing groups, set export smoothing to face. This will resolve the warning. In the next video, we'll set up how to control the character. Like and subscribe. Thanks.